So basically, the Chinese offer was against payment on resources you should have, you can take out a loan and build the infrastructure you need. And up to today, Africa still lags the rest of the world on every measure of infrastructure coverage, especially with paved roads and electricity. I'll give you an example, and I always like to use this because it, creates, it tells you how stark it is that only 43% of the roads in Africa are paved, and 30% of all the paved roads in Africa are in one country, South Africa. That is the scale of the infrastructure gap on the continent.